Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel. This reading here, this is going to be, you ready? This is going to be for the divine masculines. I'll be down, right? Like really for the divine masculines. Um, let me ground first. Okay, although we know Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine is an energy, I think a lot of people still get it confused with being male and female, at least that's what you think, and it's really not that. It's an energy. It's like you can wake up one day feeling like a boss, you know, and that's like, that's your Divine Masculine. And then the next day you can wake up feeling all prissy and this and that and crying and emotional. Not that women cry, but, you know, there's more feminine, but masculines cry too. So... So that's what it is, guys. But I saw in my comments, there was a conversation from uh, one of my followers, Unk. <laughs> this is for you, Unk. So guys, thank Unk for giving this Divine Masculine reading. But Unk, I will have to say that 86% of my followers are women. And then like 9.2% or something like that is men so it's growing slowly but it's majority women on here but the women know that we are masculine and feminines like you just gotta go with the flow go with the flow but today right here right now i'm gonna try to pull just the masculine energy spirit for the men the men that actually you know the men men spirit so let's see so divine masculine this is gonna be kind of like the the one I did yesterday where what's hidden, the things you can't see, what's going on behind you, you know, that, that you can't see. So basically, it's going to point the finger at the Divine Feminines that are in your life, okay? So masculine, what's going on behind these closed doors that you can't see with your Divine Feminines? What can't the masculine see, spirit? The male masculines. What can't the male masculine see, spirit? What can't the male masculine see, spirit? What can't the male masculine see, spirit? Okay, we're going to do four across. Oh, five. There you go. I'm not mistaken. I think it came out like this. Hmm. Okay, so, male masculines, either you or someone around you, these are the things you can't see. So this is probably what's going on with the person around you. So right now, your person is dealing with impartiality, meaning they're unsure about which choice to make. Do they want the yellow paint? Do they want the green paint? Do they want you? Do they want him? Right? So your person... It's weighing their options right now. See? They're weighing their options. They're thinking about what they want to do. Your person is also working hard. They're working hard. They're busy. They're keeping themselves focused. They're probably not thinking about you right now. Um, but they have their hands in everything. Like they're just really, really busy. So your person is busy. They're working. They're probably working on their crafts. They're working on their day jobs. Like... <clears throat> But your person is also learning to love themselves. And that's why they at this crossroad with at the crossroads with this impartiality because they're learning to love themselves. See? And when you learn to love yourself, you see things differently. So your person, it's like she's keeping herself busy. And she's going within. She's going with this, she's thinking, she's thinking about everything that occurred, everything that happened, how things are playing out right now. She is thinking about everything, but she hasn't made a move. But she's continuing to love herself. But she's having a hard time because she's either playing victim or she knows you're playing victim. But someone in the situation here is playing victim. 
And whoever the victim is, the victim is the one, is the acorn. So you the nut. <laughs> whoever the victim is, you the nut right here, guys. All right. So let's ask spirit. Let's put that little amethyst there that was sitting with the guys. Spirit for the masculine males. Can you clarify this impartiality? What's going on behind them that they can't see, Spirit? For the DMLs, what's going on behind them, Spirit, that they can't see? Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Someone is pulling back their emotions and their love. And they're pulling it back because they're impartial. They don't know if they want to offer you their cup right now, so they're keeping it to themselves. They're keeping it close to their chest. Spirit, can you clarify this Ace of Cups in reverse, please? For the DM males. Mm. Three of coins. So, they're impartial because they have options. This person here has more than one option. You could be one of them. It could also be somebody that they're working with. It could be... It could. It, it could be someone that they're working with, or it could be in regards to work. It could be a business, but your person isn't offering love because they're either focusing on themselves or they're working with someone else in regards to something, which it probably is work because workaholic came out right there. Spirit, clarify this workaholic for the DM mails, please. What's going on behind their back? Page of Cups. Your person isn't offering you love right now, uh, masculines, because they're busy. They're busy working. So they're not offering any love at all. Spirit, clarify this page of cups to me first. Why aren't they offering any love right now? <laughs> Knight of Swords, because someone else is moving in. Someone else has caught their attention. And whoever this person is, is moving in fast. Spirit, clarify. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Swords, please. Game Knight with two. It says justice. Maybe some justice has been served in a situation or will be served. And it's allowing your person, the DF, to make a choice. And then four of pentacles here. So she's being cautious. Whoever your person is, she's being cautious because she knows she has to make a decision. But justice has been served with whatever she's dealing with. And because it's been served, it allows her to have a choice now. Okay, Spirit, what else can't these masculines see? What is discovering? What is their person learning to love? What is this, Spirit? Wow. Nine of Swords told you, your person learned to love themselves and now they're not tied up, they're not bound, they're not in fear anymore. They, they lost their anxiety, like, <clears throat> there's no more despair. Spirit, clarify this Nine of Swords in your space. Wow. Your person is swimming away to calmer waters. They want harmony after um, strain. It's been a long journey. Whatever they were in, they're tired of it. So they're like, they're choosing to go to calmer waters. All right. Spirit, where are they headed to? The Six of Swords, please. Where are they, where are they headed? Uh -huh. They're headed to a union. They want to offer love to someone. It's either you, Divine Masculine, that's watching. Or it's that Knight of Swords right here. Because for you, Divine Masculine Male, that's watching, she's not offering you her love because she has options. Stay with me, Unc. Stay with me, Unc. This is your reading. This is your reading, Unc. You asked for it. All right, who is she offering this union to, Spirit? Spirit, why is this four of wands here? Where is she offering this dream to spirit?
Hmm. Three of Cups. She's giving it to someone who she doesn't, who's not going to share her. Someone who noticed her right away. Someone who didn't make her an option. This is Three of Cups in Reverse. She's choosing to give love to someone who saw her right away. Someone that's not making her choose. Someone that didn't make her an option. Someone who's not given to other people. Spirit, clarify this energy of this Three of Cups in Reverse. Who is this person, Spirit? You can clarify. <clears throat> Nine of Coins in Reverse. So this is the emotional fulfillment card, but it's in reverse. So she knows that you, or whoever this person was, they walked away from, um, they, they weren't emotionally fulfilled. So whoever is coming towards your person went through some things. And that's how they're able to have this union, because they too went through some things. They walked away from an unfulfilling relationship. And because of that, this person is willing to accept her and not put her in a third party situation or to make her a choice. Spirit, can you clarify this complacency, please? Spirit, I'm going to clarify for you. Six of Cups. She's not offering you love anymore. That past love. He pulled it back. That's what she was thinking about in the beginning. She didn't know what to do. Here. See? She didn't know what to do. But she knew she wasn't giving you the love. Because with you, she felt that she was being juggled. So she started focusing on herself. She stayed busy. And while she was busy, somebody came in. And it was the Knight of Swords. They could either work together. Maybe they ran across each other while she was at work. Who knows? But justice was served in this behavior here. And it looks like she's making a choice. She's learning to love herself there. No more anxiety. No more oppression. No more being in fear. She's starting to swim away. She wants to offer union to someone else. Who do you want to offer union to? A person who's not going to put her in a connection. And someone who is also walking away for an um, unfulfilling relationship. So why is your person unfulfilled? Why is she in complacency? Why is she unsure? Why is she still in doubt? Why is she thinking? Because she doesn't want to hurt this person from the past here. But the person from the past, this is the Six of Cups. In reverse. Normally the Six of Cups in the upright is happiness from the past. Old friends and old love revived. But she's pulling the love away. She's not reviving anything. And I just shuffled. <laughs> she's laying down the Ten of Wands. I barely shuffled and that came out. So your person is laying down the Ten of Wands. There's an ending. Alright, Spirit. What else? Can't these divine masculines see the DM males? What else do they need to see? That you're going to face your judgment. Divine masculine males, you did something. You did something to this woman. And seeing this making sense, and now you're playing victim. I told you. You're playing victim because she figured you out. You juggled her, possibly. And then someone else came in that's, that's not willing to juggle her. He goes, I won't juggle you. Because he's been through it. He's probably been juggled before. Nine of coins in reverse. Money, everything. And this person coming forward lost. He lost some things. He lost money, he lost material gains, he lost some things, but he still wants to offer this union. Spirit, clarify this judgment, please. Let's see. Wow, seven of swords. No, seven of wands. Tired of fighting, tired of defending this position. 
your person here, your Divine Feminine, is tired of fighting for whatever you put her through. She's coming out of this broken heart. You broke her heart. Somebody broke this woman's heart. Somebody broke her heart and she's over it. Yep. All right, Spirit, what else? This is the emails need to see. Okay, one more for this. Yeah. Your person's done. Whatever situation she was in, it just it just sent her away with a lot of regrets, a lot of disappointments. All right, Spirit, clarify this victim card, please. And what the masculine can't see. Four of Swords in Reverse. That this woman here, whose heart was broken, she has healed herself. She has healed herself. She's not going to allow you to play victim, and she's not going to play victim. She has healed herself. Spirit, clarify this Four of Swords in Reverse, please. Yeah. No more lovers. She says she will not be a choice. She will not be a choice at all. No more lovers. So she healed herself because someone put her in a third party and she found out about it. <clears throat> she wants love. This person wants love. She wants emotional fulfillment. And she probably found it in this person here. The yin to her yang. Because he's offering it too. He's just been through some things. Spirit. Ooh, clarify this nine of cups. Mm. So somebody negative came out. I guess the karmic said, you can't offer your love to him. The hell we can't. You can't control our hearts, girl. Sit down. Spirit. <clears throat> what else do we need to know? The collective. That your person has faced some hardships. They went through some things. But they uprighted. They had they went through some things. They went through some hardships. Alright. Spirit. Give us give us a wrap up, please, for these divine masculine males. For for unk. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Your person is abandoning this path. They're walking away. Because they feel unfulfilled. Alright, Spirit. This is the wrap up. For the DM mails. Your Queen of Cups isn't offering love at this time. She pulled her love back. Final card or whatever Spirit gives me. Alright, final card. She's walking away from her Knight of Pentacles. She, and she doesn't think it's going to be a positive outcome. With her DM. So for the person watching this, she doesn't think it's going to be a positive outcome. Justice needs to be served. Judgment will be served. Um, she's not offering love to the past, guys. She wants to offer love to someone else. She's swimming away. And she's offering it to this nine of pentacles here who lost some money and things. But this person, he's coming in with his heart on his sleeve saying, I'm not going to juggle you because he's been juggled. He's been through it himself. So it seems like she has the chance at love with a new person. It could be somebody that she worked with or, you know... I don't know, maybe they met at work, maybe they met during working hours, who knows. But guys, this reading here was for the Divine Masculines, the males. But it's good for us two feminines because you can flip it, you know how to do it. But, so, if this resonates, uh, Divine Masculines, the males, this is what's going on with the person that you see as your Divine Feminine right now. So it looks like your Divine Feminine has options. And she has a decision to make. And she told you from the door she has a decision to make. And by the end of this reading, it seems like she did. So this is the reading, guys, for the Divine Masculine Males. Unk. 
But you know what, guys? I think this is pretty cool. I did this reading on a whim because I do look at my comments whenever I get a chance. And there was just this one comment in there, and it was from a guy. And But I talk to him all the time. Like, like we interact. And he just said on there, I guess, last night or whatever, he said, why do you always talk about the divine feminines or something? And I try to switch the energies, and I tell you, you can flip the energies because it is energies. But... I too get it confused like when I listen to other readers or well, at least I used to when they would say divine feminine divine masculine but you just got to go with it and you just got to stick with one throughout the reading like don't flip flop in in the in between the reading and say oh that sounds better now I want to be the masculine no choose it from the door choose it from the door you can feel your energy from the door you know what space you're in by how the how the readers are spitting those cards you can feel that energy you can feel that energy. You can tell if the tarot reader is in her divine masculine or of her feminine because some of them are really nice. Some of us are nice and then we're feminine. Then other times we spit in these cards out like we're barking. We're like, we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, that's, that's because we know that we have both energies. But anyway, guys, this is for the divine masculine males. The males. The ones that do not have a WAP. Okay. But I think I'm going to do this from now on. Every now and then on a whim. I'll never say when. I'm going to look at comments. Maybe once every couple of weeks. I'm going to pull a name. And if I like your comment, you're going to get a free reading. Alright guys. So. Thanks for watching guys. Ankh, you know who you are. This is for you. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. But also, too, there was a Divine Feminine in that comment that was holding us down. So I got to go back and look at it because I'll probably give you a reading, too, because you was explaining to Unc what the differences were. So you know what? I think I'm going to hit you up, too, Ma. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, guys. All right, I got to go back to that reading to get your name. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.